We know that on Sunday morning, there was a fire at the Ladipo Spare Parts Market. Millions of Naira um, were destroyed because, you know, that's where lots of young enterprise Nigerians had, you know, stalls and warehouses where they, you know, sold spare parts. And one of them, one of these young Nigerians is a man uh, named Peter Ifesinachi Solomon. So he posted, you know, that's, that's him you're seeing on your screen right now. He had posted a, a picture of his shop fully stocked with spare parts and him standing in front of the shop, you know, maybe he had just made lots of purchases. But then a few days later, Sunday, you saw what happened. There was a fire that engulfed that market. He lost everything in his shop. He uh, sent out an SOS on social media. The power of Twitter, you know, went into play saying, uh, you know, life can be cruel. Help me bounce back. He put out his account number, his uh, other account details, and people began to make donations. He, he would tweet one after the other saying, so-and-so sent me 20,000. God bless you. So-and-so sent me 5,000. God bless you. And it's just been a lot. You know, we understand the power of social media as a rallying point, you know, to get people help in many cases. And we're now being joined by Peter Solomon via Zoom. Uh, good morning, Peter. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. Um, first of all, I want you to tell me um, your experience um, about that market fire. Where were you when you heard about, you know, that, that accident? Uh, it was on Sunday morning. I was in the church where my phone was ringing. Then it rang too much. Like I was like, "What is happening?" Then I came out of the church, picked up the call, and then I had the bad news. Straight up, I went to the market. I went there, and mm -hmm. before I could reach all my goods, everything, my two shops, everything are down. The fire was so much that even the fire fighters, them, the way they were spraying water, but still it was too much. It was too much. What was it? Because of the fire, still nobody knows. But the way the fire was burning and everything, ah, it looks like someone actually went there and burned off everything because it's not like an electricity fire. It mm. was actually burning so hard that from up and down, it was it was terrible. It um, was terrible. Um, you know, we've we've seen you know how uh, social media has been able to assist you. But let's start from you know how much you lost. Um, you said uh, you had two shops uh, where the two shops completely damaged. Yes, sir. Yeah, so give, give, give us an, you know, an, an idea of you know, what you may have lost um, with that incident. <sighs> what I actually lost in that incident is something that if actually I was not strong enough, I could have just taken out, taken out my life. Seriously, because my shop up, it contains a lot of goods. Like if you come over there, I'm known for someone that sells a very costly product, even at my age. I was someone I my my up shop can be valued not less than 50 million naira, let alone the down shop alone. It's something that is heartbreaking, seriously. Okay, so what what then inspired you to you know put that message out on social media and call for for help? Oh, uh, I'm I'm someone that I've always been on social media. I'm a social media type. I post my businesses there. So when it happened, I don't know where else to go to. There's no place. I just had to beg Nigerians to help because. I don't know where to start from. After graduating from school, I just had to go into business, so at least for the moment. But just look at everything, how it turned up. So, so I don't know. Mm. I know who, anybody that has life has school, but at this time, if there's no help, the country is hard. So where do I start from? I don't, sure. so terrible. All right, Peter, so you, you put out your SOS message on, you know, at uh, 10 a.m. on May 31st, 2021. That was just yesterday. So how much have you been able to raise? How much has Nigerians contributed to you um, since then? Uh, I've, re I've been able to raise like 500,000 at least, an amount that can get me a shop for now. Then see anyhow again, I can actually go hard again and survive. Wow. I, I don't know, what do, you, what do you say about that? These are strangers, they don't know you from Adam, but making these donations just because, you know? I don't know anyone. I don't know anybody. No, I'm, say, I'm saying, how do, you, how do you feel about that? I feel grateful. I, okay. feel, I, feel, I, feel, I feel impressed. I'm, I'm so proud of Nigerians. I just believe that the country is just okay. I, like, I'm, I'm so impressed. I'm grateful to everyone that have made donations so far. I'm impressed with the token. It's not easy in, in the economic situation and everything. I'm impressed. 
All right. And like you said, you know, this should be enough for you uh, to get you a shop. Um, and then, you know, hopefully, you know, you should be able to raise, you know, some money, some support somewhere or the other uh, to get back into business, right? Yes, sir. So how about your, your I'm, I'm very sure you have friends in the market. How about your friends in the market who lost, um, you know, their, their property as well? Um, can you give us a sense of just how much, you know, the losses were on their own side? I can't really tell, but most people are affected in the, in the plaza where those uh, the fire got got ablaze. We are mostly youth. We are just young people from 24 to 28 years, mostly wow. in the plaza. We are just young. So it, it affected us very well, the youth especially. That is where we are mostly. So I, I, we, we are just building up. Most people are building up. Some, one, some people were just settled not long ago. So, and everything now is gone. Everything, wow. not All even right. a pin. Would you also, because we know this conversation, of course, is expressing the power of social media and how Nigerians can step in uh, for even persons that they don't know. Um, a couple of your friends and your colleagues in the market, you know, would you, you know, ask them to do pretty much same, um, open their own Twitter accounts and seek help? Okay, are we? Oh, well, um, we wish you, um, you know, somehow that you can recover from this and get back in business uh, before the end of the year. Uh, thank you very much for speaking with us this morning. And once again, our apologies for what happened uh, last weekend. Yes, Peter, a sincere apologies. And I want to tell you to stay strong. Stay strong. We're certain that you will bounce back. Amen. All right. Have a great thank day. You.